right, we are back. This is day four. It's Monday. We're going to be going to four different islands today. We're going to go to Naka. We're going to go to Hong. And we're also going to go to James Bond Island. And then there's one more that I forgot the name of. Whoa. But we'll show you. We'll take you there. It's going to be me and Amita. We're going down today. We're getting ready. We're running late. So I'm actually going to get off the video. Uh, once we get onto the main boat, we're going to be with about 28 other people at maximum capacity. Uh, and from there, we're gonna be canoeing through caves, going through all these different beautiful places. Now, unfortunately, you know, just like Kolan, the sky isn't as bright as we were hoping for. So hopefully we get lucky and it clears open uh, by the time we actually get on the water and get out there. But uh, either way, we're gonna record a video. We're gonna show you everything. All right, so we are in the shuttle. We're gonna pick up some more passengers, fill up this van. And then we're gonna go to the main boat at the pier. And uh, that's when I'll check in with you guys again, but I'm not gonna stay in here in the van and bother everyone with my voice. So that's it for now, we'll see you soon. All right, so we are uh, at this meetup spot. This is the group that we're gonna go with and then we're gonna go take a big boat over to the island. Let me go grab a meetup and then we'll go check out the elephant and then uh, we'll get on the boat, I think shortly. We're gonna have breakfast first and then uh, things should be moving on pretty quick after that. Look. You know? Oh. Yeah. Do you see now? Yeah, I see. You don't know. Now you know. All right, so we're going to go take a peek at these elephants quick. Swati cop. Hello. Hello. Beautiful. Beautiful. Say hi. Give me a bit. So those are two elephants. What the cop? We're gonna eat some food. <laughs> We're gonna take the food. All right, so well, that's it for the elephants. Those are pretty cool. Um, when we go to Chiang Mai, we're gonna do riding the elephants. We'll feed the elephants up close, so we'll give you a better shot of the elephants in the future. But for now, it's good. So let's take a quick peek in the store, see if there's anything we need before we go, and that's gonna be it. Everybody, no? uh, for something that I recommend you to have for the trip today, the first something. Look at me, sure. I'm the captain now. We are uh, arriving to the boat now. It's gonna be this Narina boat over here. It has the sailboats on it as well, or the canoes. So we'll be able to canoe through the islands. Here's us getting on. She's hopping on first. But this is it. So we'll see, we'll bring you along for the trip. Um, I'm gonna just cut out of those in and out of the video as we you know get the different parts because i'm sure we're going to be out at sea for a little bit with without much to see for a bit but once we get nearing up on an island then i'll, I'll bring us back in um, we'll get a few clips of what it's like on the boat at sea as well but i don't think it's going to be that interesting so we'll see
first stop, we're gonna be meeting up on Hong Island. I won't talk about it much now because we got a whole group of people. I don't wanna bother them all. So once we get on the beach or on the canoe, I'll tell you more about Hong Island. The tour guide will tell you a little bit as well. And then we'll try to do some parasailing a little bit later. That's gonna be after James Bond, which is next up after Hong Island. So I'll talk to you soon on the canoe. All right, so we are on a canoe. We're heading over into Hong Island. There's a lagoon here. I'm gonna show you the scenery. It's something else. So we do have a lot of tourist boats that we gotta compete with, but once we get in there, it's gonna be super beautiful. So once we get in there, it's going to be very beautiful, I'm, I'm told. I mean, it, this, there's a lot of people here for a reason. So there's Amita. I'm gonna give a little view of her. Yep. Look how beautiful this area is. In Thailand, they would say Swai Mak Mak. Swai Mak. And if it's Hong, Hong, Hong Island. Hong Island. Or Hong Lagoon. I think Hong Island. Now we're going into the lagoon. So this man is generous enough to kayak us in. He's professional. And, uh,. much more beautiful than I could have thought. Just take a look around. Words cannot describe it. Mm. Yeah, swan so mark mark. Yeah, so we've been talking about it. As long as we've been in Phuket, it's only been four days, but we're both thinking it's time to leave Bangkok and head out to Phuket or Koh Samui. Uh, I don't know, we still gotta check out Koh Samui. We're gonna go to Chiang Mai as well, visit there, and uh, decide which area is gonna be best. Obviously, I'm gonna have to fight with the visa, but we'll see what happens. I'm sure it will work out. Um, hmm? Yeah. But with views like this, how could you not wanna move away from the city? At least for six months to a year, give it a shot. So we'll go to Samui first before we decide which area we like best, but so far Phuket has been beautiful. It's been awesome. She will get over it. She will learn not to be shy.
Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do next. That's gonna be like 10, 20 minutes, and then we're gonna head over to James Bond Island. That's the one you wanna see. Everyone knows about it from the movies, but I will tell you the time name for the island once we get over there. They'll remind me what it is. And all right, so this is the world famous James Bond Island. There's gonna be some shopping on the way in. Then obviously one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. Um, so we're gonna take a look at that here. Okay. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and uh, go straight to the island. They only give us 30 minutes here, so we wanna make the most of it. I wanna swim a bit after we get some photos. I mean, take a look at the type of scenery that we're looking at here. It's gorgeous. So here, bring you along, give you a forward facing view. sunniest of days but you can still see how awesome it is taking a look I mean it is crowded with tourists but that's okay we can still make the most of it huh? all right so we're gonna go up and get a second view there's uh, well, someone said to go up these stairs we'll see a different view yeah, this is uh, pretty cool. Definitely a beautiful sight. I wish we chose a sunnier day, but it was still awesome to see. Now we're gonna check out this cave, which is tall as fuck. You look, it's pretty cool. We're gonna let these people take a photo and we'll hop in next. All in all, definitely worth a visit. Island. This is a, a bat cave that we're about to go into right now. So I'm not a big fan of bats. Maybe we get bit, maybe we don't. If we do, I'm not excited about that. But it looks pretty cool. I'm sure she's gonna get a bit scared. I will be fine. But it's gonna be a lot of fun. This will be something new for sure. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see. I don't know how this camera does in the dark, 
but uh, we're gonna do our best to show you what we can. Uh, in the editing, I'll try to brighten up the picture so that way you can see what we see, but then again, I, I really don't know what to expect. So this is the first time I'm gonna see it. So you're gonna go ahead and see it with us. Here we go. Oh my god, oh. I'm getting scared. I don't know if you guys can see this in the video, but I am, uh, there's at least 200, 500 bats. So now I'm, uh, they're all hanging from the ceiling, some are waking up. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, we do not want to cut off and go. The last thing we want to do is swim inside of the back. Okay, hopefully we're, hopefully we're well. So now we gotta lay down because we're right against the roof of the cave. Definitely something cool. This is interesting. I've never done this before. This is new. Um, thankfully, we're turning back. We've got a professional driver. We're almost back to safety. Back to the beginning where it all started. That was pretty cool. There's definitely a lot of bats in here. I wouldn't want to swim in here, but this was definitely exciting to see. You can see that the stalagmites, stalactites have been here for hundreds of years, building up over time. This is definitely a historic cave. And you can see just the walls, how smooth they are. Uh huh. Cool. 10 out of 10 would have recommend the experience that was a lot of fun this is us coming out of the cave now and uh yeah unfortunately for the rest of the video we lost the sound but this beach was not that great anyways it was just a chill spot for us to get some food rest use the bathroom if we wanted before we went back home to for the day so i hope you liked the video if you did let me know down in the comments what your favorite part was if you've been there before or if you're planning to go uh, also let me know where else you'd like to see me travel to I plan to make much more content for you guys. I am going to step it up a notch with the editing, make it more entertaining over time. I'm finding my voice as a YouTuber. I'm so grateful if you stayed to the end of the video. Make sure you like it. I'm going to let the rest of the footage play out. I will put some music so that way there is some entertainment value if you'd want. There's going to be quotes on the screen from what I said. And uh, that's going to be all. See you guys next time.